talk about strategies you can use to reduce cardiovascular inflammation and prevent heart attack and stroke by reducing your risk of plaque formation. Firstly, let's talk about reducing obstacle secure. So smoking cessation, reducing blood sugar spikes. So drinks that have high sugar are far worse than meals and foods that have sugar content in them, especially postprandial blood sugar is a great marker to determine if you're not able to regulate your blood glucose very well. This can be a significant contributor to plaque formation. Also exercising. Exercising actually really helps with endothelial function. This means that the vascular tube will create nitrous oxide gas and allow more elasticity of your blood vessels. Another one is avoiding alcohol. Alcohol is extremely damaging to the kidneys, which help you regulate your blood pressure. If your blood pressure remains high, this also creates a shearing force and inflammation causing plaque formation. Let's go over the natural herbs and supplements to reduce arterial inflammation. These are evidence-based. Google, which is an Ayurvedic herb, antioxidants like N-acetylcysteine, which converts to glutathione in the body. We have turmeric, ginger, and garlic grape skin and seeds that have resveratrol, pomegranate, so all the dark purples that are very heart healthy, hawthorn in the form of the berries, but the hawthorn leaves actually really help to reduce blood pressure. Green tea is an amazing one, rich in antioxidants, especially matcha, as well as olive oil. What these herbs and supplements do, their target is to reduce NF-kappa B, cytokines, and CRP. CRP is actually a wonderful marker targeted at cardiovascular inflammation. To me, inflammation, high blood sugar, high blood pressure really are insulting factors when it comes to plaque formation and the risk of heart attack and stroke. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about natural approaches for reducing cholesterol and blood pressure.